Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Rowan, the Lyran Witch, and today we are going to do a collective reading and see what messages Spirit has for us. I'm gonna see what comes through. Okay, so we have contact. Boundary and wild. I feel this has to do with a friendship. I think there is a friend that might be considering breaking some kind of boundary that they previously set or that you previously set in order to get back in contact with you. But let's get some more information. I'm seeing the color red as well, which is usually to me about like grounding. Um, and this can be about like physical health concerns as well. So one or both of you may have something going on or may have had something going on with your health before with blessings. I think that whatever this health issue is, is either being overcome or was overcome. And this is going to be a message of good news. Okay, I just got a yes, so they are just letting me know that I'm on track here. We have family in reverse and cracks. Somebody's family was inter interfering with this friendship. And it was like causing cracks in their resolve. <laughs> we have Watchdog at the bottom of the deck telling me that one or both of you knew this was a problem. And it was like you were trying to watch out for the other person. Trying to protect them, maybe, from family situation that wasn't good for them. Yeah, with try again later in reverse, I think someone was under the impression this was going to be a permanent ending. But it's like their resolve changed. With gluttony, someone was definitely... <laughs> I'm hearing an attention whore. That's funny. That's from the other person, um, so don't take it personally. But I, I feel like this is just spirit saying there, there was codependency at play in this relationship. Electronics in reverse. These were definitely digital boundaries that were set. You may be at a distance to each other now. And with Scholar, somebody is either considering going back to further their education or is currently back in school, and this is part of the the message that they want to share. There's like good news that they want to share with you and they're missing the friendship. Red light and reverse. See, they're reversing the boundary that they had before. This is what they're looking to do. With We have this in common coming up in reverse. At one point, it was like you were both on different pages. And that was sort of what made the relationship or the contact fizzle out at one point. With just so, it's like you used to fit together so well and used to be a part of each other's daily lives. Very good coming up in reverse, just saying that this became quite malicious at the end. It was like there was a lot of negativity just being like bounced back and forth between both of you. I'm going to open a window a little bit here. What else would you like them to know, please? I'm seeing a stop sign. Someone, either you or them, in this connection <laughs> was battling their pride when it comes to, oh my gosh, and we have hissy fit. We also have grow up in reverse here. Someone was really, really resisting coming back into connection, but they can't avoid the fact anymore, they can't ignore the fact anymore that they miss the other person. I know you from another life, they, they feel like they don't know who you, who you are anymore. It's like you lived a totally different life when you knew this person. One or both of you has had an immense glow up. Um, and it may be because, you know, these, these challenges are being overcome um, with health, especially is coming up here. They want to tune back in with you. Let me get one more from this deck and they're going to have me switch out. Somebody is no longer iffy about if they want to get back in touch.
the other person is going to be making a move in order to bring you back into their life, bring you back into the loop is what I'm hearing. And I'm seeing a lasso. So it's like they're not really sure if it's going to work. Like just, they want to do something to kind of throw you a line or like bring you back in here. With email or text on the other side here. Hmm. Okay, and this person may be realizing that part of their... Somebody's realizing that part of the reason that they were getting malicious at the end is because they had developed feelings for this person. So this could be that there was a third party involved, like that family we talked about that was like pushing them away. Or there could have been, you know, this can also be like a polyamory or ethical non-monogamy card, meaning like they might have already had a partner and they were developing feelings and not sure. In this case, I feel like they were actually not sure if it was going to change things for the worse in their existing relationship like they might have been new to that and not sure if it was like for them or really wanting to explore it yeah there's too much momentum pauses needed yeah so this is a case of like you really mattered to this person genuinely like you had a friendship long before they ever developed feelings for you but they became super overwhelmed and were just like i, I can't focus on this anymore they needed to nurse their physical health with Nightingale in reverse here. And they, they really felt like they weren't at a point in ma of mastery in their career or like personal development. Like they knew they needed to grow up and they were afraid to explore this. Like it, it just always a lot to this person. And they might have tried to voice that to you, but it came off as you are a lot. And I don't think they meant it that way. <laughs> but but you didn't like that. <laughs> you were like, I I'm out. Like, I, I don't tolerate this kind of behavior. I don't tolerate people talking down to me. Um, it's like you went under, you disappeared. Like, you may have gone overseas, literally. You may have moved to a different coast um, than this person. They're showing me, like, a, a gigantic being, like, going under the water. Like, a you know, a, a sea serpent going under the water and just disappearing, like... Uh, I'm hearing Loch Ness Monster, <laughs> like, just gone, you know? Because with Lizard in reverse here, you were not certain that you were going to ever get your needs met in this relationship in terms of, like, the friendship. Because I don't think that you were aware that this person had developed romantic feelings for you at this point. I feel like you were just like, this isn't going to work out. Like, <laughs> I don't know, like, this isn't a good friendship for me anymore. Let's see. Okay, they want tarot. I'm hearing censorship. One or both of you are like censoring yourself from the other person. And because there was this like energy of censorship, someone was feeling left out in the cold to the point where they were like, I gotta end this situation. Like they were just ready to move on. They didn't want to like... I feel like neither of you wanted to see a different perspective in the situation. Like, you were just exhausted by it. And you were like, I'm going to move on to a new thing. I'm moving to a different place. I'm starting a new life. I'm done with this, like, King of Swords shit where I know you're not going to talk to me. And you're not going to, like, be honest. Like, you could sense there was some kind of falseness or dishonesty. But it was like, they, they just didn't know how to, con like, deal with their feelings. And deal with their passions, I guess. So I don't feel like there was, you know, there was malicious communication at one point for sure, or at least it came off that way, but I feel like both of these people, again, this just flipped out as I'm trying to reshuffle, like, everybody involved, both of you have, like, a lot of love for each other, like, this is genuinely, like, unconditional love for this friendship, and it took a lot for you to leave, and you know, the Empress has nothing to do with gender, so no matter what your gender is, you are like, I need to make sure that I'm good. I need to focus on me for once, and I need to make sure my money is right, I need to make sure my emotions are right, and that I can provide for the people who can show up for me. And at that time, that person wasn't showing up for you. You were just, like, again, feeling left out in the cold. This was somebody that you were really close with at one point, and you definitely, like, went through... I'm hearing some of you went through, like homelessness together or you like were extremely 
like you were struggling together and you both helped each other through that and kind of leveled up at a certain point in your life. Yeah, this was, this was definitely a loss for you. I don't know if you can see this, but the Ten of Swords, this was a very painful ending in your mind. And like with justice in reverse, it's like, I don't feel like either person wanted revenge. It wasn't that kind of ending. It was just like a loss. Page of Wands coming out in reverse. There was definitely a question that came up in the other person's mind of like, am I ever going to find somebody who can enjoy things with me the way that this person has enjoyed things with me? You did a lot together. That's definitely apparent here. And you had a lot of the same like niche interests, <laughs> I feel like. Um, you guys could talk to each other about stuff that you could only talk to strangers about before because you just were interested in like very um, specific hobbies or very specific interests and you could go on about it all day. Um, I have the devil. This did come out in reverse. Again, there was some codependency here and I think really what the chain was that was kind of connecting you two and making you feel really stuck at one point was like that idea that only you two could connect about certain things. And that's very limiting. You know, that's definitely not an abundance mindset. There's, there's a lack mentality there. And neither of you are unmotivated people. Neither of you are people who are, would be cool with that. Like, you're just, like, very... I think at your heart, both of you are very much... You love people. And you love interacting with new people and new situations. And I feel like because of the experiences that you two may have gone through together, or even just at the same time, uh, that's kind of brought you away from... Yeah, look. Okay, King of Swords in reverse and the Three of Cups. It This has changed the way that you relate to other people because you're like, how would they get it? Like, sometimes when you go through trauma, there's it makes you feel really isolated. And it can cause this illusion that only the people who went through this exact thing will ever understand me. And that's, it's true, not true completely, it's true in a way. Like, maybe only people who experience that specific trauma will understand the full scope of how that trauma works and affects you. But there's, everybody can understand other things about your life beyond your trauma. You don't want to just pick your friends based on, like, trauma, right? Yeah, I feel like both of you kind of were in this energy of, you know, meeting different friends and having opportunities to interact with people and just being like, I, I'm not going to do that. I, it could turn out badly, you know, but you chose to move forward. Like you overcame this before the other person and with the full energy, you were just ready for a new start. Yeah, with the star, you wanted to chase your dreams. And I think for a lot of you, like, that's why you moved away or that's why you started a new job because you were, like, feeling really called to something that you felt like was part of your life purpose or life path. And there was this sense of, like, having to work, having to kind of juggle the idea of, like, do I leave this person behind? And spirit was like, I'm giving you an opportunity if you turn it down, like, this window isn't going to open this way again. And you took the opportunity. And I think the other person felt a little betrayed by that, but you have to do you. <laughs> you have to take care of you. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, you were meant to do this. You were absolutely meant to make the decisions you made. So if you've been going through regret about this, um, put down the burdens about this. Like, release that. Um, you know, this person, I feel, will flow back into your life. They are an important person to you, and I feel like they are part of your, you know, if you could have every single thing you want in life, right? I feel like you would want to get along with this person again and have them be in your life in a healthy way. And this is sort of a, it was just a rough season that you went through with them. And that doesn't excuse any bad behavior on either of your parts, but this is more so spirit saying, like, it was a bad season, and no matter what happened, it would have been hard. <laughs> and you're you're both kind of moving out of that now. This person hasn't 
made a move yet. Like they're just, they're still reflecting on the things that happened in their part. Um, they're still, yeah, with the, they're, they're deciding if they want to do this, if they want to communicate with you. They really want to, but they, they haven't decided if, if or how they're going to yet, if that makes sense, because they still have feelings for you and they can see like a long-term commitment with you in a romantic sense. And they don't want to just drop that in your lap. They feel like that's unfair or like feels desperate, but it doesn't feel desperate to them. Okay. And they also just naturally have a tendency to hold things back in communication. It's it, They're a quiet person, I feel. Like, they can be talkative, but I feel like when it comes to their emotions, they're very reserved. Let's see. They are slowly coming out of this energy of feeling caged by their own desires and feeling like bad things will happen if they voice their desires okay they are worried that you're going to attack them about it I don't feel like you are I feel like you'll listen whether or not you have your own feelings for them I feel like you're kind of neutral and you're open to whatever the universe is sending you honestly that's how I'm reading your energy but you may be willing to work on just being friends with them that's kind of how I'm seeing it. I feel like the friendship is more important to you. And to this other person, it's... They definitely have romantic feelings for you. That's for sure. But... Let's see. Yeah, but they're not holding on to you the way they used to. They're not codependent anymore. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the person, let's see, the person you're dealing with is now learning to control their sexual energy and their passions and their romantic feelings without projecting onto other people. They've gone through their own lessons about that while you weren't in contact, for sure. And they, yeah, with the tower here, they went through some tough lessons with it, some heartbreak. And with the Page of Pentacles in reverse... It's made them realize that they need to weigh out how they present to people and the other people's, like, the other party's emotions without, like, expecting them to take on extra burdens, I guess, or to make space for something that they're not interested in, I suppose. But they really are having tr trouble getting in touch with their intuition. And you... It, it's like they can't get into their intuition about you in particular because they have too many feelings about you. I feel like you read the situation pretty clearly, though. Let's see. I have clarification on this, please, Spirit. I have the Page of Cups here. Oh, okay. This person... Thank you, Spirit. I'm hearing that this person is worried they're going to come off, like, immature <laughs> in how they explain things to you. They see you as a lot more experienced than them in romance. And they're afraid that you would just immediately kind of leave them behind because of that. They can see that you've, like, definitely been getting your bag. Uh, you've been, yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles here as well. So we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. You've been, like, all about making sure that you're having that financial stability or getting set up for that. Like, you've been focused more on making sure that you are getting your house housing in order and making sure that you have your foundations so that you don't end up in compromising situations like you used to whenever I just feel like you were going through a very tough emotional and or physical time with your health back in the day. It's either health or finance. 
or both. Often those come together. I think this deck is hot. I'm getting a lot of the same cards again. And these came out, I feel like this is just kind of spirit saying, like, they're, they want to communicate with you. They are nervous about it, though. And they're asking for guidance and support from a higher power in order to give them strength to do so. And with temperance, you know, they understand. I have the tower poking out here right beneath the Ten of Cups. So they're like weighing out if they are okay with risking, like risking it in order to get their Ten of Cups. And they're learning to trust that even if there's an ending, there's going to be a rebirth. Even if there's a tower, there's they're going to rebuild. And it's going to be for the best. Like, they're learning to trust the universe in a new way. And you went through that a long time ago. You undid that cage in yourself. But the, this person feels like they're a little behind because they are just now learning how to trust fall. And that's okay. Spirit is saying that, oh my god, I have cards flying everywhere. I'm not going to take those. I have the Page of Wands coming out again. <laughs> Spirit's saying be patient with this person. They have a tendency to get very excited. <laughs> they have a tendency to get really excited about emotional situations and, like, worry themselves. You can be a little bit more balanced in that regard, so be kind. <laughs> they're a little afraid they're going to come off as, like, stupid or, like, I have sacred fool here. And they're a little bit afraid that you're going to, like, puppet master them or, like, you know, you, you do have the ability to kind of wrap this person around your little finger, but it's saying relax and relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. You know, if you were kind of controlling or manipulative with this person in the past... I feel like you've moved through that and you're not like that anymore or you you don't feel the need to try to control people to protect yourself anymore shock of the new in reverse One more. hearing Archangel Metatron and then what do you feel and this, these came out in reverse here, so this other person that you're dealing with, whoever this is, is trying to figure out if you guys can still get along, even though you're apples and oranges now, and no longer both apples or both oranges, whatever. And they are worried. This is new for them. But they're really coming from a balanced place. And they are, their heart's in the right place. They want to know how you feel about it, and they don't want to hurt you in any way. To restore and replenish. They just don't want you to... They're very worried about rejection and abandonment, in a way. But... So are you. <laughs> I feel like you both are in a different way. And they're, they're wondering if they should open Pandora's box or kind of let this go. They just understand that this is a conscious connection that you both have. So, Spirit is reminding both of you, whoever it is that is watching, right? Because it could be either, it could be flipped. But every journey starts with a single step. Take this day by day. If you're the High Priestess person and you're like, really, you already have known about this for a while and stuff like that don't linger on it just take it day by day enjoy yourself focus on your life and if you're the person who's trying to like come forward or get the courage um write about it <laughs> i feel like you are a writer just be honest and and just a really i'm hearing that even just a really small gesture will go a long way in this regard. If this is truly something that you want to rebuild, 
um, you're not going to be left out in the cold. And you're not going to be met with hostility or anything like that. The person who... If somebody was very hostile in this situation before, it's like they've released that. With releasing allegiances here, like, they're... And it's number ten. They're, they completed that cycle. Like, they're not mad anymore in general with life. Because that's what that was. I don't think a lot of that was at you. That was just life. Both of you knew it was a bad situation you were leaving. And it was just... It was an unfair scenario, honestly. You were both having to go against the grain in life. And it was hard. So, yeah. There is the potential for a new start in this connection. Start as friends. See what happens, basically. And... With new birth guarded vigilantly, I feel that both of you have learned the lesson of how to... Oh my goodness, that card just like literally flew into the wall. But you've both learned the lesson of how to protect connect, like this connection and things that matter to you from outside influences. Whatever that looks like for you. So that's what I have for you guys, and I hope this message helps you. If you'd like to work with me for a personal reading, energy energy healing, coaching, or telepathic animal com communication. I can't talk today. Um, you can find all of that at my website, which is lyronwitch.com. The email is on my website that I book through. It's lyronwitch at gmail.com. I don't have another website. I don't have another email. So if somebody reaches out to you offering a reading, I don't do that. Just watch out for impersonators. The only way to find me is through the social media and links that are in the the actual bio here. And if somebody reaches out to you in my comments section, look for the banner because there's going to be a special banner that shows that it's actually me. So yeah, just be aware of that. Don't get scammed. And uh, I'm sending you guys love and peace. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.